Ghanaians really are hard working. Ghanaians are committed. I can see Ghanaians travel outside and they excel. How or why can't Ghana prosper? Ghana has everything. A great chunk of Ghana, to be honest, lives in serious deprivation. The kind of education system we have, in my view, has contributed to where we are, the challenge, unemployment challenge we have. We need people who are able to start something on their own and are able to employ others. That is why it is necessary to have a new type of education, ethical education, Education then transforms the individual to become ethical, to become compassionate, to become entrepreneurial, to have the leadership that will transform society. It is said, if, if you want prosperity for one year, plant corn. If you want prosperity for 100 years, plant trees. But if you really, you want real prosperity for thousands of years, educate people. HCC started as a church response to a national need. The vision of HCC to become the flagship Christian university in Africa for the purpose of advancing the kingdom of Christ and national development. So in addition to the Heritage Christian College, which is the umbrella body, uh, we also have the Center for Entrepreneurship, Philanthropy and Ethics, another unit. And then we also have the Heritage Bible Institute, which trains the church leaders. And we now have added to it the Institute of Commercial Management, UK, the ICM program. In our modest way, we want to make learning very practical. We want to train people, not only in the theory, but even important is our students to be able to apply whatever theory that they learn into resolving very everyday problems. In this modern world, in this era, there is nothing that you can do well without the use of technology. Everything is driven by technology, and we want to be relevant. When I came to HCC and then I got to know about the laptop policy for students, I was really excited because I saw that it was really making a lot of things very easy for the students and not just easy, but making them learn skills that they would need later in life. They gave me the opportunity to own a laptop to, so that I could pay in installments. Per the course I'm doing, the laptop that they exposed us into really helped me. It has really helped me. The actual thing that convinced me to come to Heritage was the fact that I'm going to have 24-hour Wi-Fi. A student is going to be given a laptop. So this was like a chance for me. I mean, it was like, that's it, that's where I want to be. HCC is a very different college because of the relationship between the faculty and then the students. The students are at liberty to walk through our offices and tell us their problems. They have given me their support, their love, their advice and everything. I look up to everyone here. We are able to really reach out to our students and the students also reach out to us. They want to see the children succeed. They want to see the children come out in life with skills, with vision. Unemployment is a huge issue in our country, Ghana, and in, for that matter, in the whole of Africa. And, and that is the difference that Heritage seeks to make, helping to have the Ghanaian young people train and give themselves meaningful jobs without having to wait, this is phenomenal. And we are focused on delivering that. The Center for Entrepreneurship, Philanthropy and Ethics is one of the units of HCC that has 
decided to help the students to be able to develop their skills in entrepreneurship, uh, help them to be able to write business plans, be able to uh, hone their skills so that they can really be able to uh, employ other people. And then they do all of these things in the context of ethics and giving back to society. Before you finish ACC, you have your own business. It's a privilege to you because you won't be counting around looking for a job. You already have your job. So with a CEP, if you're a student in Heritage Christian University, you have a great opportunity of becoming an entrepreneur right after school. We don't just want to train people to go and then uh, cater for the physical needs of people, but to also cater for the spiritual needs. And then these leaders as well also start their own uh, community development initiatives to impact lives in various uh, parts of Ghana and Africa. Leadership is everything. Okay, when you have a leader with no ethical base, they are waste. They can turn a country downhill or they will do things only for their own self-interest. But with HCC, the focus that we are taking, the Christian ethics and philanthropy, apart from the entrepreneurship, builds in the students who pass through a sense of wanting to give something to society, a sense of wanting to put Christ first in what they do. Uh, although we are new, uh, we are already seeing evidence of the impact uh, of the kind of teaching and training we are giving them. We have students who have been in school for two, three years, and some of them have already started small businesses, not big, but they are excited about it. And we have students, a number of them, who are right now working on their business plans to be uh, assessed and evaluated and coached. And, and it's really gathering momentum. One of the immediate impacts that I can see is that most of those students have transformed in their intellectual disposition. Their confidence levels have significantly improved. Their ability to critically analyze social issues have changed very dramatically. To be able to prepare students who will go to industry, who will go to the church in Ghana, who will go to agriculture, who will go to various parts of the country, to be able to impact the way things are done there. My dreams and my goals is to provide equal opportunities for people back in the north, to provide a kind of a platform that will bring my people back in the north face to face with their own plight or predicament and to see their need for Christ. I'm hoping I become a very good example for young ones who have to go through the harsh life that I've been through before. At HCC, I've got to realize that our life is not for our own purpose, but it's for God and then for other service to mankind. And I believe that will glorify the name of God. We're doing all this with the goal to transform lives, transform families, transform tribes, transform ultimately the society and beyond, beyond Ghana. Any seed we sow today in this institution is sowing seeds of eternity in the lives of many, many children we may not know. As we say in one of our local dialects, Bidamuninase, literally meaning thank you all for what you've done. Edamas, Nyamin Shramu, God bless you. Nyamin Shramu, God bless you.